You swipe your credit card at the grocery store, grab your seat, and walk away thinking that everything's fine. But what if I told you that someone could have just stolen all of your credit card information without you even knowing? Today, I'll explain why that little chip on your credit card is actually your tiny plastic bodyguard, protecting you from sneaky thieves who want to steal your money. By the end, you'll understand why swiping that magnetic strip is like leaving your front door wide open for burglars. Now, let's start with the old way of doing things. That black magnetic strip on the back of your credit card is like a tiny cassette tape. Remember those things? Eh, probably not. Because, well, you're probably too young. But imagine a really, really small tape recorder that stores information instead of music. This magnetic strip holds all of your important credit card information in one place, just sitting there waiting to be read. It's like writing your name, address, and house key number on a piece of paper and then carrying it around in your back pocket. Now, when you swipe your card, the card reader runs that magnetic strip through a little machine that reads the information stored on it. And think of it like running a tiny tape player over your mini cassette tape. The machine reads your credit card number, your name, and your expiration date. All of this information is stored on that strip in exactly the same way every single time you use it. It never changes. It's like having the same password for everything forever and ever. Here's where things get crazy. Because that information on the magnetic strip never changes, it is incredibly easy for bad guys to copy it. Imagine if every time you said your name out loud, it was exactly the same volume, exactly the same tone, exactly the same, well, everything. Anyone could record you saying your name once and then play it back perfectly pretending to be you. That's essentially what happens with magnetic strips. Criminals can use something called a skimmer, which is basically a sneaky little device that reads and copies your magnetic strip information when you swipe your card. These skimmers can be attached to ATM machines, gas pump card readers, or even handheld devices that dishonest store employees might use. When you swipe your card through a skimmer, it reads and stores all of that information from your magnetic strip. The skimmer is like a secret tape recorder, copying your credit card's voice so that criminals can use it later. Once the bad guys have copied your magnetic strip information, they can create a brand new card with all of your information on it. And it's called card cloning, and it's like making a perfect photocopy of your house key. They can then use this fake card anywhere that accepts magnetic strip payments, and the payment system thinks it's really you making the purchase. The store's card reader can't tell the difference between your real card and the fake one because they're both having exactly the same information stored in exactly the same way. This is why you might suddenly see charges on your credit card statement for things that you never bought, in places that you've never been. Maybe someone used your cloned card to buy groceries in a different state, or to fill up their gas tank, or to go shopping at expensive stores. Because the magnetic strip information never changes, and because it's so easy to copy, criminals can keep using your information over and over again until your bank notices something suspicious. Now, let's talk about your tiny plastic superhero, the chip. That little square metal thing embedded in your credit card is officially called an EMV chip, which stands for EuroPay, MasterCard, and Visa. But you can just call it your security chip, because that's basically what it is. Unlike the magnetic strip, which is like a simple tape recording, the chip is like a tiny computer. A really, really tiny computer that is smarter than the computers that sent people to the moon. This tiny computer chip doesn't just store your credit card information and sit there doing nothing. Instead, it creates a brand new, unique code every single time you use your card. Imagine if every time someone asked your name, you gave them a completely different answer, but somehow they still knew it was really you. That's essentially what the chip does. It proves you're you but it does it differently every single time. When you insert your chip a card into a card reader, something magical happens. Well, not actually magical, but it might as well be. The chip and the card reader have a secret conversation. The card reader says, hey, prove to me that you're a real credit card. And the chip says, okay, here's a special code that proves I'm real, but I'm only gonna use this code once, and then I'm gonna throw it away forever. These formulas take your credit card information and mix it up with other secret information to create a completely unique code that's never been used before and will never be used again. Here's the really cool part. Even if a criminal somehow managed to intercept and copy this special code, it would be completely useless to them. Remember, the chip throws away each code after using it just once. It's like having a different house key every time you come home, and once you've used that key to get inside, it stops working forever. So even if a burglar somehow got hold of Tuesday's key, it wouldn't work on Wednesday or any other day. This is why chip cards are so much safer than magnetic strip cards. With a magnetic strip, criminals can copy your information and use it over and over again. But with a chip, even if criminals somehow manage to copy the code from one transaction, that code is already dead and buried. It's like trying to use yesterday's newspaper to get today's news. It just doesn't work. 
Now, let's imagine you're at a store, and there's a bad guy with a skimmer device trying to steal your credit card information. If you swipe your magnetic strip card through a skimmer, he gets all your permanent credit card information and can use it to make fake cards. But if you use your chip card, all he gets is a one-time code that's already expired and useless. It's like he's trying to steal your identity, but instead of getting your real name and address, he gets a fake name that only worked for five minutes and then disappeared forever. The chip also makes it much harder for criminals to create fake cards. Remember how easy it was to clone a magnetic strip card? All they needed was your credit card information, and they could put it on any blank magnetic strip. But chips are much more complicated. They're not just storing information. They're actually tiny computers running security programs. You can't just copy a computer program onto a blank chip and expect it to work. It's like the difference between photocopying a book and trying to photocopy a living person. One works, the other definitely doesn't. Even if criminals somehow managed to get hold of a blank chip and tried to program it with stolen information, it wouldn't work properly. The chip has built-in security features that verify it's a real authorized chip made by legitimate manufacturers. It's like having a security card inside your credit card who checks everyone's ID before letting them in. Fake chips can't pass these security checks, so they get rejected by card readers. This is why you have to leave your chip card in the reader for a few seconds instead of just swiping it quickly. The chip and the card reader need time to have their secret conversation and create that unique one-time code. Yes, it takes a few extra seconds, but those seconds are protecting your money from thieves. Some people complain that chip cards are slower than swiping, and they're right. It does take longer, but think of it this way. Would you rather spend an extra 5 seconds at the store, or spend 5 hours on the phone with your bank trying to fix fraudulent charges? Would you rather wait a moment for your chip to process, or wait weeks for your bank to send you a new card after criminals have stolen your information? The extra time is like a tiny insurance policy that protects your money. The chip also makes it much easier for banks and stores to detect fraud. Because each transaction creates a unique code, the bank's computers can analyze patterns and spot suspicious activity far more easily. If someone tries to use an old code or a fake code, the system immediately knows that something is wrong. Now, you might be wondering why we still have magnetic strips on our cards if chips are so much better. That's a good question. It's because not every store and ATM has been upgraded to read chips yet. The magnetic strip is like a backup system, ensuring your card still works at older machines that haven't been updated yet. But as more and more places upgrade their systems, we're seeing less and less of those vulnerable magnetic strips. Think of it like this. The magnetic strip is like an old-fashioned lock that uses the same key every time. While the chip is like a high-tech security system that changes its passwords constantly, both will let you into your house, but one is much, much safer than the other. As technology improves, we're moving away from the old-fashioned locks and toward the high-tech security systems. Some places are even moving beyond chips to contactless payment, where you just tap your card or phone near the reader. These use the same smart technology as chips, creating unique codes for each transaction, but they're even faster and more convenient. It's like having a security system that recognizes you from across the room and unlocks the door before you even get there. So, let's recap this whole credit card security adventure. Magnetic strips are like carrying around a piece of paper with all of your secret information written on it in permanent ink. Anyone can copy that information and use it to pretend to be you. But chips are like having a tiny computer bodyguard in your wallet who creates a new disguise every time you need to prove who you are. Even if bad guys see one disguise, it's already gone forever, and your bodyguard has a million more ready to go. Now go forth and chip with confidence, you financially savvy security expert you.